Hey, hey, everybody, it's your boy, Lions Eat Noobs. Welcome back to more Pokemon Ultra Sun. Last session, we got to the third island, and it's Ula Ula Island. And we're about to go to the Mala Garden. But first, Evolution Time. Because it's really tough, because yes, you need to get one put up to the snuff and get him to level up. Just in time, too, because here we are with our boy, Galissopod. Coming now. Oh yeah, this is a great way to start off the session. With a brand new evo- brand new spanking new evolution. And a great one to boot too. Ah, Glissopod, good to see you again. From Sun and- from Shorn Shield and Sun and Moon. Ultra Sun. Hell yeah. Glissopod, they don't have added in Pokedex. What do we got? Yay, registered. A completed evolution to boot. Yeah! Evolution completed. Ah, diggity, look at you, you're on fire, partner. Build all the park decks on a single page. This is like a bang bing over here. You sunk my battleship. The hard scale Pokemon. The shell covers its body is as hard as its diamond. This Pokemon will do anything it takes to win. How fitting. And of course, lest we forget, the signature move, first impression. Which I shouldn't say anymore because Surfetch and Failings can use it too, apparently. But yeah, now we got ourselves Gullisopod back again. Lovely, simply divine. Now it's time for everyone else to start leveling up. I know Noibat's been there for a while, and you know what? I, I do love to see him. I mean, nothing against Noibat. I love Noibat, though I'm not using him, but that's the thing. But I suppose exceptions ought to be made. Actually, now that I think of it... I should probably put somebody else in front for now. But whom? Well, I know I know who's coming up right now, based on the name, the name based on the based on the episode's opening. So, all right. First, why don't we on grind with some tea or coffee, whatever you want to call it? I will take some rosary tea. Leaves from my fav from my favorite Pokemon. This will be great for. Great to relax. Here you are. One rosary tea just for you. When you taste rosary tea, you'll first know that sweet scent filling your nose. Drink it while it's hot before you miss out on the fullness of its aroma. Do you have Pokemon routes with friends or people you don't know? Routes get so hot you completely lose track of time. Only one per day, but have a tea biscuit on us. Especially from Mahogany Town in the Johto region. Ooh, Rage Candy Bar. Nice. Well, they're all the same thing anyway. Let's be real. Delicious. I like to offer you your Pokemon something on the house. More poker beans! Yep, lovely! Please come visit us again soon. Good. Some awesome photos with the newly evolved Pokemon. I'm good for now. I'll be sure to hit the exosis the SS. Thanks. I appreciate it, but uh, I'm good for now. Thank you. Alright, we're going to Mali Garden. I was gonna hope to do some shopping, but Lily says go to the thing. It's like, okay, fine, we'll do this thing, Lily. Jeez. Alright, we're here in Mali Garden. And it's night time to boot. I heard that they serve tea somewhere in the Mali Garden. I'll start my search for the bridge here. From the bridge here. Why don't you start on the edge of the garden? Fine. Guess I'll go the long way around, in other words. Each one of those things. Must be Swap Leo or something? I wonder if that was that's the case. Alright. Oh, we got some trainers here. Of course we do. Alright, fine. Today's Pokemon Day. I mean, isn't that every day in in this universe, technically? Every day's Pokemon Day. I mean, it's not Community Day, mind you, so what do you expect? Alright, Clapper. Go Noibat. I mean, since you're here, I as well get some training done and... Okay, well... Since it's a... I mean, it's a pre-evolved form. It's a baby Pokemon. I don't think it could do much, right? We should have a chance. Sing. Okay. Sing a song. I didn't really care for it. Sing a song. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I was waiting for it. 55 accuracy, you say? I don't believe... Well, it made me miss one time, so I guess it means something. Alright, well... Copycat! Okay. Well, what? Okay. Sing again. What was the point? Alright, waiting for it. Sing! Sing more songs! No, I can't hear you. Alright, wing attack! 
Sweet kiss. Oh, joy. This thing again. Fine. You want to play this? You want to play hardball? I'll play hardball with you. Even though you're just a little thing. Here you go. Wing attack. You love it. We all love it. All right. Hey, target to level 32. Cool. Very good. I'm fine because I'm with Clapper. That's a spirit, child. Never give, never, never give up. Okay. There might be some Pokemon here. Ah. Uh, yes, speaking of Pokemon, what do we got? What do we have this time? Low and Meow. Ah. Uh, it's like, it's Garfield with attitude. Or I think in this case, this is that, it looks like normal, basically, isn't it? Yeah. If, if Cantoni Mouth is Garfield, then a low and meow must be normal. Oh, great. Another meow. Is it gonna come? Yep, yep, two meows. Oh, great. Normal has a twin, evil twin. They're fast. I like how the lower level one was faster. Oh boy. I'm not gonna escape. Uh, there's no escape, is there? Let me run. I'll, I'll deal with you another day. Please, sir. Alright. A luxury ball. Well, cool. If you want to travel, Pokemon would love to travel in style. It's like the perfect ball for low and meow when you think about it. Ah, caught you. Well, not you. I don't really give a rat's ass about you. So, I'm. Or, or I guess this day it's a bat's ass. Bats have asses. Technically. Like the Batman. Alright, moving on. Fortunately, I don't think I can go this way, can I? You're blocking the way, sir. Why well, are sure it's clear, huh? Why are the Pokemon hiding in the shadows of the rocks or something? Alright, you're just gonna stand in my way, are you? Well, fine. I'll take the long way around. It's very nice, anyways. It's a nice, it's a nice night for a walk, don't you think? Alright. So don't mind me. I'm gonna go over here. Hey, are you a trainer? What in the world is the secret of the pond in the garden? How should I know? All I know is I can't surf here because no Pokemon are allowed. Oh. Well, we can't fish. I guess we can show it off. Give it a try. Nothing is bite. Alright, well, one more. Let's give it another try. Let's put another go. Hello. Who are you? Oh, just a pearl, huh? Uh, okay. Uh, do it again. Let's do it again. What have we got this time? Alright, this time we got something. Who's here? Goldie. Eh. Not w all that for a Goldie. Water chip. And to you I say... Oh, this 14. Pass. Hard right, pass. Don't care. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, there's Kukui. How you doing? Nice, nice day, nice night for relaxation, eh? Oh, Professor Kukui! Hey there! What's going on with you two? You guys are shining extra bright today. Something big happen? Uh, only something amazing? Yeah, hear yeah, this! An ultra wormhole hold up right in front of us, and they're like ultra beasts in front of us, and now it's from other worlds too! You guys are Professor Burnett too! Woo! You got to see the ultra wormhole and ultra beasts? The folks from another world? That's amazing! Oh yeah! Sounds like an even better reason to train hard here on your island challenge. Oh my god, look at that face Kukui's making. Look at him. Maybe someday we'll be able to go through the altar wormhole. Alright, your next trail is up on Mount Hong Hakulani. Catch the bus there. Just set the bus up on Route 10. You guys going there without me, Professor? I got a hot day with an Alsada shop. Got my Pokemon some streets will really start to like me. Roger right, that, good buddy. I'm going out of the bus stop. Maybe we're ready. Hey, Lane, did you know? Uh, you know what? There's an observatory on, t observatory on top of Mount All Lucky. You know how to, what they do on an observatory? They observe things. Well, what do you mean? They observe things, obviously. I mean, that's what you do in an observatory. Yeah, I will let you too, good sir. Alright. Ooh, a red, another rage candy bar. Two for the price of one. I love it. I love to see it. And I hear the side ducker calling out. Alright, 12 stickers! 12 is the good number. But unlucky 13, not so much. Oh, are you two battlers? 
What are you two? The Pokemon of one of my guests and my own Pokemon becoming friends, so we're taking a walk together. Hello, the trainer. Hello, the Pokemon. Okie dokie. So we're Taurus and a Bellhop. Taurus couple, Landon, Yuriko. Interesting, that's a couple. Full picks and full picks. Yeah. Alright, yeah, that makes sense. One Cantonia and one Alolan. The difference between, yeah, Alolan Vulpix is a Ice and Fairy type. Pretty cool, no pun intended. But, uh, yeah, I would like to use Alolan. Alolan Vulpix is pretty cool. So, I already have a Alolan Raichu coming up soon. Eventually. Alright. Critical hit on, what, on the Vulpix. Well, one of them at least. Ouch. Hot, hot, hot. Bang attack. No ice moves? What? Not a single ice move, do you? Do you not have a single ice tap attack or something? Is that what it is? Alright. Air cutter. And... Thunder shock. One, two combo. Works every time. Take some of this. And another air cutter. Go. Damn it. Didn't quite work out that time. Pikachu is in a bit of a pinch. May cry. Don't you dare cry, me. Just hang in there, okay? Alright. Actually, while we're at it, why don't we try this? Wait, 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 wait. No. Let's go for a little bit of boost in power, shall we? On this Vulpix. And then Pikachu, you take out the other Vulp, the other one. There. Good teamwork. And break. Oh, the crit mattered. Of course it did. Yeah, of course it did. Boost it up. Pikachu go to level 30. Goodness. Thank goodness for that. Alright. Z move. Let's do this. Take to the skies. Let's come crashing down. No way bad. Surrender Z power. And then, here comes the Z move. Supersonic Sky Strike. Comes in handy, don't you know? Well, I take a sip of my delicious water. Well, well I say delicious water, but water only has one flavor. Ah, uh, <laughs> crafty, how crafty. Well, all right, you know what that means, time for Glithopod, time to, for you to do your thing. Let's show them off, shall we? All right, doesn't matter what you do because Glithopod, you know what I like to say, first impressions are everything, don't you know? Boom. Oh yeah, love it. Supply is such a cool Pokemon. I'd love to see it. But ready to level 30. Oh yeah, now it gets to evolve now. <laughs> Hello, our precious gets down. So you come on, Bob. A very fiery Vulpix and cool Vulpix can beat you. Hot and cold combined, not enough. <laughs> Meanwhile, my Ray evolves. Huzzah! Our second evolution. Two evolutions in one one session. The very beginning to boot. Lovely. Alright, another favorite, another personal favorite of mine, Mudsdale. Oh yeah. What a good horsey. A big one to boot. Another data added. Yep, we got Mudsdale. 166 on the Pokedex. Yes, another line completed. You're good, you're on fire, partner. You only have the Pokedex on the same page. And the bingo over here. Look at that, 2,028 pounds. Jesus Christ, look at, that's a big horse. Heavy horse. Definitely ain't horsing around here, that's for dang true. Congratulations, Pokemon. So awesome photos of newly evolved Pokemon. Later, um, later. My voice cracked. Oopsies. Rudin, what are you doing to me? All right, I think we're good for now. All right, hi Lily. I'm glad I ran into you. I was actually wondering. Yes? I'm listening. What do you think of her? The person of the Age of Vendor should I mean? Eh, I don't know. Right, of course. I just thought maybe you'd met with her. I'm sorry if asking something so strange. Um, anyways, what I ask you about is, um... You want to go to the ruins? Yep. How did you know? Take time to visit Ula Ula's ruins. But they're located deep in a large desert. I don't want to ask that much of you. I'm planning to visit Molly Library. There's a book I wanted to look there. If you're willing to help me, I know that Mario Lab is somewhere in the city of Mali somewhere. Yeah, you can do this. That's it. Never give up. Never surrender. 
Always keep it up. And off we go, over here. Yeah! Pokemon Center! Would you like to rest a Pokemon? Gee, what gave you that idea? Alright, uh, you know what? Again, Noibat's been pretty cool and all. I keep, but it takes a long time to evolve into Noivird. And even then, and then, I still have all the Pokemon I'm planning to use right now for this playthrough. Like I said, sticking with all the Lolan team, so... This one should be coming up later. Oh, that's a Hariyama! He's blocking the way. Alright, so that's a sweet, that's a sweet shop. Alright, where's the clothing district at, eh? Ah, there we are! The clothing store! Always gotta get some new fashion, do some new fashion. I'd like to buy some clothes, please. What do we got here today? Ugh, why is it always tank tops? Every time, man. Alright, uh, cut off jeans, eh? Ooh, camo shorts. That is my style. And this is totally my style, and I would love to change it. Alright. Sea cucumber! Or... Fruit. Sea cucumber or fruit, huh? Well, I'll just stick with the... Sure, I'll just stick with the... Sh I'll just stick with the pants, then. I'll just take this one on. Pretty sure there are more clothing options, aren't there? Unless it changes during the day, I guess. Then I guess, um... Yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna have to wait, aren't I? Well, alright, give me a moment. I'm gonna look it up. Alright. Find the detour, but I'm gonna go ahead and take another shop, take another trip towards, you know, uh, friggin', what's it called? Uh, Hollow Eye City, because, you know, I want to find some other clothing options here. And, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against tank tops, but, uh, I want to fix it up. I want an actual shirt, please. If possible. I mean, it should be, certainly, it should be possible, right? Alright, the haircuts, there's the stop, the store. I didn't even think I hit the door. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I forgot to talk about before, but, um... Uh, okay, so you know how in, um... You know how, like, in the, uh... Back in the beginning, at the... Um, what's it called? The, the place? Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. I, I'm getting wrong. What I meant to, okay, what I meant to say was, like, um... You know how in the... You know, okay. Damn it. Ah, sorry, I'm getting mixed up. Okay, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, back in Aqua City, we met those... The two assistants, um, uh, what's his face, and, uh, Dexio and Cena. Yeah, basically, um, yeah, they, yeah, in, uh, Regular Sun and Moon, I forgot to mention, um, yeah, in the, in the first version of that game, they, in, they pretty much talk about, like, the Zygarde cores, which is the thing you're supposed to find. They're not available here, because, uh, the thing is, okay, so, yeah, Zygarde cores, basically, were in the original, first Sun and Moon, but not here. Basically, Zygarde cords were, um, you know how in X, Y, and Z, the anime, uh, we had different forms of Zygarde. I, well, I mean, that was supposed to be a thing back in the, uh, original, but unfortunately, but, yeah, back in the, you know, when people thought Pokemon Z was gonna happen, we were gonna get, like, a, a more about Zygarde, but unfortunately, it never really happened. We never really got to see it. I mean, I know, I mean, the fabled Z, Z place. Yeah, the Pokemon Z, Z version. We never got to see more of the other things. Oh yeah, and I know somebody pointed out about the power plant in one of the eight games. In, in there. Yeah, saw this outfit, and last one they had stock. Didn't want it, I have the guts to wear an outfit like it. But the woman looking at the store to tell me, Oh, hello, who's coming over there? I guess you could say it was for the best. The library was actually right past the pistol, I just kept going. Horsey! Big horse. Oh god, I thought her bags were about to go blank for a minute. Man, been a while, friend. Looks like your aunt has come up a Must be listening to the taco. So who might this be? Oh, uh, this is Lily. I speak of all these mudtails boogies now. Doesn't seem like a child girl. What are you up to? I'm actually uh, saying the taco's ruins for various reasons of my own. 
Uh, well, that's a fine initiative. I'd be happy to show you the way wherever you'd like to go. My Buds Dale here is a story, so I can get it. Here's the carry, too. Thanks for the offer. Okay. I guess she's going for a ride, huh? Alright. Going for a ride, are you? We check out my delivery first, though, since we're here? I mean, I guess so. Sure. Alright, let's look for some books. The library. I didn't bring my library card. Rip. It's a very old book. The product that contains old myths and legends that Professor Burnett told me about. The tales seem to suggest that a lot of those legendary Pokemon came from another world. Is that right? Out of this dimension, you say? So this is a library. Look at all those books. Well, yeah, what'd you expect? The library. Oh, hey. It's a very valuable book, so I should have been taken out of the library. Hello there. Who is this sassy lost child? And a book right there. Is this what you're looking for, princess? Give it a read. <laughs> Who let this sassy lost child in my game? It's titled The Light of Alola. I'll just read it out loud, I guess. The library is supposed to keep quiet. Yeah, right, well, whatever. The empty sky broke asunder. A hole appearing where it had been none. A single beast appeared from it. It was called the beast that devours the sun. The king of Alola bowed before it, the beast that shone so like the sun. The island guardians fought against it, but in the end, the beast had won. Then did the beast that devours the sun shine its light on the line of kings. Then did the beast that had won bring nature's gift to bless all things. Beast of sun and beast of moon, through their union they brought new life. A fragile heir in Alola born, the island guardians would keep from strife. The ancient king sang this thanks for so galley with songs of flute. Two tones ran out across the altar. A perfect pair. You have to mute. Cool book. Any pictures? Isn't it great? My dad's books are all great. What? I mean, yes it is, but when you say your father, is this book very old? Yeah. It belonged to my dad. I know it don't look like it. My family used to be pretty much royalty. Really? I have to have all my dad's books. Well, yes, so they don't get room by the Pokemon. I could tell you lots of other stories about Lola, too. You're interested? Well, that would be wonderful. I'd be delighted if you did. I think I'll stay here, but I think I know why you've come to Ulula. Going for another trial. Good luck! Red Dead Ulula's electric type trial is reached on the bus of Route 10. Yay! That should be good enough. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Once one, one done with Maui City, head to Route 10. Lots of Pokemon there. Yay! Let's do this thing. But first, let's ride. Take a shortcut. Be quicker about it. Big bike. Hello, are you a janitor? Clean, clean. The fighting style janitor is also clean. Very clean indeed. I see your point. <laughs> janitor Melvin. Alright. Shrubbish. Alright, I guess that makes sense. I mean, it is. It is. So she would janitor, I suppose. Alright, now you're back. You're out, you're out in front. Hair cutter, let's try this. Oh, here comes a little bit of stutter. Stockpile. Oh, great. Stocking up for the apocalypse. The grass looks nice, at least. Nice, great settings. Graphics are cool, and 3DS standards all be considered. Alright, takedown. Ow. I did a lot. Eh, fine, I'll switch it out, I suppose I should. Let's let out our new new vault pal, Mudsdale. Go for it, Mudsdale. Yeah, big horse. 2,000 pounds of power. And uh, tanky one to boot, all things considered. Yeah. Mudsdale, the way in your directions. Alright, bulldoze. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about the quick claw. It never activates. Alright, there we go. Critical hit. Trubbish fainted. And there, yeah, nobody got to level 26. That's something else while you're at it. Another Trubbish. Now you just. Now you stink. You reek of filth. Can't have that. Voice power. Yeah! Boom! Kicked with the pound. Kicked with the power of a two t of a one ton horse. Now that's real horsepower. Spotless. Oh, not my Pokemon. Your, your Pokemon dirty up my Pokemon. Now I've got to give him another bath. Of course I do. Hello. Hey, listen, listen. You gotta hear this. 
Okay. The name's Jester. No, you know me, but you know my man is a favorite poses for one of the post Pokeballs. The battle style. The choreographer who came up with him. This is success for Batman. Only way I need you. Battle style success. We're all here and I'm asking your favorite. You can't say no. No. Oh. Okay, fine. I guess I have to. Copy me. Now do what I do. Here's the pose. Just draw a sword. The elegant style. It's coming you want to change your battle style anytime. Alright, more experience, come and see me. Yes. I want to change my battle style back. Normal style, please. I don't need no elegant style. Elegance is not my style. <laughs> What's with the sword? Yeah, you get different styles for Pokemon th throwing animations, basically. If you didn't know already. Oh, hey! Samson Oak, what are you doing? Other Oak. You're not alone in grammar, in fact, not native to the region. All but instead are what we call naturalized Pokemon? But it's not so much sludge and pollution for a grime to feed on a low level, so they've grown to feed on garbage instead. And yet, somehow, because of that, it's a much better alternative, and that people actually like it. Something good for you. A friend ball! A friend indeed is as a, inside a Pokeball like this. For Rotom's sake. Are you a trainer? Hello, are you a trainer? Need something? Uh, I was asked my question. I should be asking you that, dear fellow. Oh. What do we have over here? An antidote. The antidote. What's this? What over here? Alright, so we're about done, yeah? Let's call it a day and get on home. Right. What are you doing out here, Kate? This is strictly area. We're working here. There's a boy. Aren't you a Mali native? We all fans of our hospitalities. Kids need to explore and see the world. What else are they gonna learn? I swear. Yes, for fault. I mean, sir. Yes, sir. So what you really want, then I'll tell this random trespasser about what it is we do here. This is where we take care of all the garbage po produced in the Alola region, young man. We generators work together with our Pokemon toward his goal, in fact. The garbage that human workers gather is consumed by monkey grime like this one here. The president here, besides me, has a month that can eat ten tons of rubbish in a single day. The Alola being grime are still just temporary contact workers. Is an island challenge I make to have there? I took on the job when I was a kid. It's a bit too much, so I ended up giving up right away. Quitter. Look here, kid. Seems my mock has been too much to eat today. Join me in battle and provide it with a bit of exercise. Sure. You got cut hot spot, my friend. Let's get this thing going on. We're battling on a lowland muck, are we? Okay. Janitor Sean. So now muck. A lowland muck. Yeah. I, yeah, nice color design. I also do remember this thing actually being uh, quite a tiny nuisance. I mean, yeah, Lola Mutt's actually pretty damn strong, all things considered. Especially since, uh, it's got an ability where it's like poison, it's a very tanky thing, and the dark type also kind of helps as well, so. But, you know, poison dark is actually a really good combination, all things considered. And, I mean, just look at Skunk Tank and Drapion. It's also, yeah, I got some good abilities too, so it's actually pretty good. Got the poison touch. Critical hit. Which means better poison touch, better chance for poison. Yeah. Take some hoops to the face and call it a wrap. Yeah, it's pretty though. Pretty looking though. And seeing you go to level 28. Yay, one more level and you get to level up. I was exercising 8th edition, but you came at me full on. Oh, no caring this time, huh? Alright, well, whatever you say. Eh, not too shabby. Just like I figured. You got something, you kid? I mean, we may have my boss's muck. But you're doing sand here like a lump. You're up next, you use this dullard. Jeez, that's a bit harsh. I guess you're a boss, I guess. The moment something starts to look tough, you give up crying off you run. You give up too easily. You're supposed to be my son. I bet it's fine to you if you never learn the value of a bit of hard work. You can't ever have things in your hands, leave things in your hands. If you don't give me reason to trust you, can handle it. Yeah, don't give up. Just fight. All right, we'll do it. I won't run away this time. Give it everything I've got. And let me take you on. I'm a man. I am man. Pulls out the shaving. <laughs> shaving kit. Alright. Ace Trainer Chase. Here comes Grimer. Alright, well. Let's see if Nor let's see if Norbeck can take on well never mind. He's kinda low on health. Never mind then. Alright, well let's try this. Let's just try Super Serong Strike Truck. Surely this will come in handy. The physical side, because I know uh, Grimer and Bucks have a higher special defense. So let's try this. 
All right, this is your chance. Supersonic strike struck. It's your best. It's your own. It's your best bet. So give it everything you got, my bet. Take the skies and come crash down. So come on and slam. Wow, that didn't do anything. Knock off. Well, good thing is Z crystals can't be knocked off, thankfully. Fortunately, Noibat did really survive that fight because knock off did get buffed from Generation 6, going from 20 to 65, actually. Very strong, Galtic considered. There we go, clear a path. There goes Draymar. At least you stuck it to your guts, regardless of circumstances. Father, that was my best shot. Hope you were at least proud of me this time, eh? Alright, Mudsdale, you got some dirt on ya. You can't have that. Oh, sir. You tried. Eh, last it all. You. I'm sorry, Father, I'm really just a weakling. Uh, come on now. You're hired. Eh, Father? Not your father, I'm your boss. And I'm saying that you're a hired boy. And this is what I'm making you the head of this plan. I want to hear another word of complaint about from you. What? You saw this giant was stronger than you or even me. You still, you and your grandma went up against him and everything that you had in you. That's all I always wanted to see from you. The kind of persistence and drive. So while you and Grimer are going to take over for me. But thank you, sir. I mean, father, sir. I mean, Mr. Former President, sir. I mean, Pooba. Sorry for using to teach my boy a lesson. But when I saw that on uh, challenge jam you had there, it just hit me, you know? Thanks for your troubles. Maybe twist it, but it's not garbage. Twisted spoon? Oh, cool. That will come in handy for when I evolve my right shit, my Pikachu. Eventually. Yes, sir. You can, sir. Okay, well, that was an interesting mini quest. If you did say so myself. Wasn't, ex wasn't expecting that, but uh, okay. Sure. 